So here at 911 Rapid Response, we do a lot more than just your typical SUVs. We do full retros on fire apparatus as well. This is a rescue truck that we have in that we get the complete uh, flip over from halogen to LED. So there's a lot of rewiring that needed done on this truck. If you look at the front brow lights, there's Pioneer brow lights that are up there. They're in LED right now and they were halogen. They were on the generator system. One of the biggest problems with this vehicle was the halogen lights on the generator system was actually way over capacity of the generator system. So we got to be able to knock a lot of that back so they have more use and more function with the generator. So we got a full size Ultra Freedom Bar up top that we set the pattern to a, a more effective, a nice pattern up top. Like I said, the Pioneer lights that we mounted, we had to remove the old brow lights, put the new ones up top. As we come down through, we have the turn signals. Right now they're set on hazard flash, so you can see them. We change those to LED. The next in line, these were actually flipped. The, the, the headlights were down where the warning lights are, and we flipped them because their box across the front cast a real large shadow in front of the truck of the headlight not being able to project over top of that box. So this allowed that headlight to shoot out further and to shoot closer to the ground further here in front. Those are LED headlights that we installed. Next size we go down, we have the Whalen uh, M series lights that we have in and they're synchronized across the front. So overall on the front side of this truck, it drastically increased a voltage drop and it drastically increased overall performance and warning power out of the front of this vehicle. So as we go down through the side of the vehicle here, we did everything in LED. So when we do a full LED conversion, we can do a couple things. We can just do warning lights or we can do marker lights as well. This has marker lights, warning lights as we walk back through, all changed over to LED. So as we come back through here, we have a nice intersection lighting with the M series. We have the uh, added LED marker light here. Uh, we changed it to the LED version. We move through to the back. LED warning light down in the side. We changed all the side lighting up here in the sides to LED. So we have the Whalen M9 series, the gradient scene light, and then a single Pioneer light here in the side. We'll flip those on for you so you can take and see what they look like. As we move to the back, we have more Parker light LEDs on the sides and the back. So there are scene lights out the side, so this gives us extremely effective scene lights out the side of this vehicle versus the halogens that they had. Um, the gradient scene light gives us nice lighting around the truck. The Pioneer gives us that nice flood distance lighting out the side on, on the truck. Again, taking a lot of, of voltage draw and amp draw off of their generator, allowing their generator to be freed up to be used like it, sh like it should be. As we move through to the back of the vehicle, we've got good siding here in the side, the M-series lighting on the side, same way here in the back. All the markers are changed to LED. When we go the whole way to the back, we change the arrow stick to a Whalen arrow stick. Right now it's set in the random pattern. We have scene lighting here in the back. Uh, marker lights, brake lights, reverse lighting is all LED that has changed out. We actually added the Pioneer surface mount lights here on, this, on the back to actually give more scene lighting than even just what the gradients actually give. Another thing that we did on this vehicle is everything is changed over on the interior compartment lighting as well. So all the interior compartment lighting has now been changed over to LED. Before it was just halogen lighting that was actually stuck on to Velcro. Everything has been changed over, has been permanently mounted, it looks nice. We use FRC stun strip lighting for all our compartment lighting. Very nice clean install on that. And I'll just show you a couple different compartments of that interior lighting that we changed over. So here we added some mounting brackets on because this is a single wall truck, so we can't just drill through it. So we added some mounting brackets on. So when they do open the toolboxes, that strip lighting shines real nice into their toolboxes. Same way as we go up across the front here, we have all of that nice scene lighting mounted properly so they have nice area to see. This is where the first tool system is. Again, giving them that nice functionality of, of, of uh, compartment lighting. So this is just real nice to show you that not just rapid response just works on 
intercept their cars, pick up trucks, F-550s. But this is something that we definitely uh, do without a doubt, customized, get the best for the customer. We do a lot of sit down and review ahead of time to make sure we get exactly what the customer is looking for, the best bang for the buck. We want the customer to get as much lighting output that they can for the amount of money that they're going to spend. That's our number one goal here at 911 Rapid Response. Make sure you check us out on our website at 911rapidresponse.com. We have social media, Twitter, Facebook, Google accounts, Instagram. Make sure you check us out there as well.